Hi guys, Dane here, and today it's Small Booktuber Sunday, even though I'm shooting it on a Saturday. But we will call it a Sunday. What? I got confused. My YouTube subscriptions are up there and I started looking at something. Anyway, let's forget about that. So as usual, I will be doing uh, shout outs for 10 different channels and I'll be telling you a little bit about why I like them. All the links and stuff will be below and I encourage you to check them out and to give them a subscribe if it sounds like your kind of thing. So channel number one, we have Weird Reads. So Weird Reads is a male booktuber who talks about a lot of similar stuff that I read really everything from sort of Stephen King to Terry Pratchett he's also an author as well so he does a little bit of author tube as well and to be honest he just has pretty good taste and uh, yeah his videos are always quite chilled and, and relaxed as well so that, that's one of the reasons why I like him so if if you like the more relaxed booktubers you're gonna like weird reads okay number two we have one book one review she's a big Terry Pratchett fan what's interesting actually is she basically originally read Discworld years ago as the books were coming out and she was reading them in German and she's recently started going back through and reading them again but in English so she's posted a bunch of Discworld reviews recently. She's one of those booktubers who has quite an, an eclectic taste in books but it's also quite similar to my taste so if you like the kind of books that I read you're probably going to like her channel and uh, another thing that she does as well which I really enjoy are her letters to each month so she'll do a letter to August, a letter to September where she'll just talk about you know what happened in her life. Okay number three we have Bucky Laura and I want to say she's a teacher, but I might be wrong. She reads, again, quite a wide variety of stuff. She's a, a British girl. Let's see what she reviewed recently. Yeah, so she's posted all kinds of cool stuff. So she did an end of term book haul recently. She did a reaction to the Salisbury Literary Festival. Recent books she's read, Dune. She read Robots of Dawn by Isaac Asimov. But she also reads stuff like All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. Children of Blood and Bone by Tony Adeyemi. So, um... Yeah, quite a, quite a variety of stuff. Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda, The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. Does a few tags as well. She just generally puts out these very well thought out reviews and she just seems super approachable when you chat to her in the comments as well. Okay, number four, we have Book Sundays. Now, what can I tell you about Book Sundays? So, I know that she's married. She used to have black hair and has recently changed it to blonde. Well, not that recently, actually, months ago, before I started watching her. But she posted a video recently where she talked about that. And um, she, she also works in marketing as well. And I used to work in marketing. So we have quite a little bit in common there. She's just a really nice, bubbly girl. She talks... Does a lot of her videos she films with a cup of coffee and <laughs> almost almost always kind of nearly spills it as well. She does a lot of tags, but she does a lot of chatty videos as well. She doesn't necessarily stick to just doing booktube. So for example, what I thought was really cool was that she looked at her analytics a little while back and realized kind of the average age of her following was kind of university age. So she started talking about, you know, how to decide your career path and all this stuff. And, and uh, yeah, I think she posted some really good advice in that video. So she's one of the people whose videos I typically will always watch no matter what it's about. I watched one of her Get Ready With Me videos the other day. And I'd never watch Get Ready With Me videos. So there you have it. Number five, we have Novel Crawler. So her name is Jennifer. And she reads quite a wide variety of stuff as well. Let's see what she's got recently. I think this is kind of... Uh, a trend with all of the booktubers that I watch that they, they do tend to read quite a variety of stuff She also does some draw with me videos because she keeps a reading journal. She'll also do a lot of uh, You know flick throughs of her reading journals as well. I would encourage checking that out. She has a playlist for it and uh yeah, just an, an, again another underrated booktuber. So at the moment she has 99 subscribers So you could be lucky number 100 even though I'm sure she smashed it by this point Okay up next we have Claudia from Spinster's Library and Spinster's Library originally started out as two people on the channel before Claudia sort of took the reins herself She talks about cats quite a lot. She did a, a video about her collection of cat books She also made a cats and books booktube tag which I encourage you to check out she has the most adorable kittens. Sometimes she gets them high on catnip. It's great. In one of her older videos, actually, that I was watching recently, she was talking about how to kind of make your bookshelves more cat accessible as well. So you can put little perches on them and that kind of thing. Just to, you know, cats like to sit in high up places. So I thought it was really sweet that she'd thought of a way to combine cats and books like that. And uh, she's also just very well, well 
All of her videos are very well thought out. She also did a Women in Harry Potter series that hopefully will come back soon. I don't know. I feel like she hasn't posted an episode for a while. But that was very interesting as well. And, um, yeah, I mean, she's just a... She's just an intelligent woman who knows about books. So, and she likes charity shops. Okay, next up we have Minx Laura123. So I guess this is specifically Minx Laura123's Wacky World, which is her booktube channel. But she also does all kinds of other stuff. She does some story time videos. She does like shopping hauls. You can go uh, like come shopping with me into places like Poundland and stuff like that. So she obviously loves a bargain as well. But... Her channel is kind of a mixture of that, of like bargains and shopping and that kind of stuff. And also books and tags and TBRs and all that good stuff. Yeah, she's just lovely. And she sent me and Becca some goodies recently, to, which we opened in an unboxing video. So thank you, Laura. Okay, so next up we have Alex Black. And one of the reasons I want to give Alex a shout out is because she's always so supportive on my videos, which I really appreciate. In terms of what she's posted recently, so at the time of filming, she's done a bunch of reviews for The Way I Used To Be by Amber Smith, Second Life by SJ Watson. She's done some reading vlogs, wrap ups, top five Wednesdays, all the good stuff, hauls as well. And um, yes, yeah, just a really lovely person. So definitely go and check out her channel if you haven't already. Okay, next up we have Cats and Camera and the clue is in the name there. So Cats and Camera will usually include a little clip of her cats in it. She's a British booktuber as well. And again, another one with great taste actually. Let's see, let's have a look. Every LGBT plus book I own, over 120 books. She did the Pride Flag book tag as well, taking part in Booktubeathon. We've got some wrap ups, some hauls. She does TBR bingo as well, in which you get to, you know, have a say in what she reads. She went to Norway recently and did a haul from that as well. Yeah. Just just one to watch. If for the cats, if for nothing else. Okay, and finally we have Chapter Kate. So, yeah, Chapter Kate, she is in a band which is pretty badass. You can actually see some of her music in some of her videos, and she did a video recently where she did Singing My Books, so she took songs that had book titles in them and sang those. She's done a plot guessing game with, I think it was with a little brother maybe, uh, bookish pet peeves, books that put me in a slump, she, oh, she did one which was really good actually where she tried to guess the plots behind her husband's recommendations and um, yeah, and also she's just a lovely person again. Just just go and check her out. Go and check her out and say I sent you. So there we have it. Those are my uh, 10 booktuber shout outs for the month of August. Jesus Christ, we were in August already. This was a lot of fun. I always enjoyed doing my shout outs. I would of course encourage you to check out some of the channels. I always like hearing back from people as well. Quite often people have like let me know. They've said, oh, you know, a bunch of people came through to my channel. So thanks for giving me those shout outs. And at the end of the day, that's what these videos are all about. Because I only shout out booktubers whose channels I love watching. So it does mean it does mean the world to me when I hear that you guys have gone through and actually checked out some of these booktubers that I love and shown them a bit of support. So. Thank you. Let's have a round of applause for everybody. Yeah. I don't know why I'm clapping like this. I'd normally clap like this. I bet this sounds awful on the microphone. Anyway, on that note, thanks as always for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. Let me know in the comments which of these booktubers are new to you and which ones you already subscribed to. Subscribe to myself if you want to, if you haven't already. And I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.